Rebuild giant corporate and government entities powered by vast amounts of personal information. China is far ahead of Google AI. Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. Sitting in a modest office is a Chinese man that used to work for Google during the dot-com era. You wouldn't know it by looking at him, but he controls over a few billion people's connection to technology. Oh, and they're all Asian. The numbers the Chinese leaders play with are staggering when compared to the West where America boasts 330 million people, and European countries can't even compare to those numbers, even if you add up the entire EU. Asians number in the billions. Oh, and American industry still hasn't gotten 70% of the population even to buy TVs. In fact, people are removing TVs out of their homes, and there's quite a few who have stopped going to the movies. But to add insult to injury, the Chinese government actually donates money to R&D in technology to make China number one in the world in technology. Why haven't you heard of all of this tech? Because China already has billions of customers and doesn't need a mere 330 million more customers. In fact, they're working to keep America out of their country. Free trade is a pipe dream dreamed up by American elites who would be the only ones benefiting from it. Sure, your toaster might be cheaper, but putting a million American men out of work doesn't cover the savings. And China knows this. That's why they don't do it. America has actually made China's GDP grow and surpass America. Thanks, Clinton. And they aim to keep it that way. Another shocker, China and Japan leads almost all scientific and medical endeavors. I did a bit of research based on one of my subscribers' comments, and the basic question is this. Is there actual real AI? The short answer is no. Google has tried with deep mind and deep learning and machine learning. And here is where I'm going to diverge and tell you that all the money that Google makes and keeps raising funds by private investors and our own government is all spoken for. I have said over and over there are underground robot manufacturers in China and Japan that are far richer than Google. Let's take me for example. You probably can relate to this. I'm in the hole for all of my bills. Think for a second. If I made $10,000 a month but I owed $50,000? It doesn't matter that $10,000 a month seems like a really big number, does it? I'm in the hole and the money is spoken for. So let's look at these companies in China and Japan that make million bucks per robot. And the parts don't cost anywhere near that. And when they make billions a year, they're in a much better position than Google. Now, who do you think is going to be more flexible when they want to come out with something new. Those underground companies, right? And the proof is in the pudding. I used to work with the Chinese, indirectly. I had a few face-to-face -face meetings, and my partner explained, as much as he could, with his Chinese wife, how to act, how to listen, and what to think about the Chinese. One thing that stuck was no matter what they say, they will never tell you the truth. Not to say that they lie, but they won't show you exactly what the company is doing. In fact, 
they consider American business to be very bad for doing that. So my company tried to organize the visa program for rich Chinese. That's all we did. There was nothing else that we did. If we were a Chinese company, we would never come out and say this. Now, as I continue my series about Japan releasing a fully functioning female robot, which includes China, no matter how often I say it, you all still don't understand that they will hide what they do. It's in their culture. It's how they do business. And to add a whole other layer to it, they don't need your funding because they make a billion dollars a year, if not more. In fact, they don't even do funding rounds. By the way, I do. If you'd like to help support me in my effort to fly to Japan and China and meet these underground companies, you can donate at patreon.com slash shikama. I will be putting together a documentary of the entire trip, making daily posts and the meetings and the tours with the companies. So we come to the question of AI. I want you to understand something that a lot of you just don't know. You know these video games that the people play nowadays? The average cost of these big name games is $200 million. A very big part of the game is the AI in the game. A recent game that came out was Kingdom Come Deliverance. Here's the kicker. In that game, you play a young man right above a peasant, the son of a blacksmith in the medieval period. Typically, in these games, the computer characters wait for you to come up and talk to them. And then you go off with them and do whatever. In this game, however, the computer characters literally had their own lives. They lived how they wanted to live. And if you happen by at the right time, good for you. If you don't, maybe you overslept. Maybe you visited the bathhouses a bit too long. They'd go off without you. Every single computer character in the game has their own AI, and it didn't depend on you. Now, doesn't that sound amazing? And it should sound rather expensive to have a programmer sit and program all of the computer characters to do that. Which brings me back to the question, does AI really exist? And the short answer was no. So in that game, someone sat and programmed all the computer characters. And by someone, I mean more like a thousand people. And by a thousand people, I mean like 20 different companies, all divided into parts to do some tiny part of the whole thing. What those 1,000 programmers do is make a huge list. And they literally say, if this happens, do this. This list is massive. So now if you come along and say, I'm here to go to war with you, Sergeant at Arms, he says... Not in that armor. Go get better armor and you better be here in the morning. So now you, the human, have to tackle the ta task. And if you're not there in the morning, they're marching off without you. Is it AI? No. But that list of possible things is extensive. So does the Japanese robot wife actually think and learn? Yes and no. So China is ahead of us in AI. They have made robots that learn but the female robot wife learns, but in a very small subset of things she needs to learn. But that's all you need as a human in her life. I know this is going to shock you, but you only talk about 20 different things in a day. And that's being generous. Think about this. How many times do you say hi in a day? That's one thing. And maybe you go on with a greeting. That's still all one thing. You have 19 more things to talk about for the rest of the day. You and your girlfriend talk about five things. So the Japanese female robot wife needs only to learn about 10 different things. Sounds limited, right? But she also comes with that same huge list that the $200 million game programmers made up. Not specifically those programmers, but the same thing. Load up the robot with a list include the ability to learn about 20 things or more, and the human will never get tired of talking to her. As we go on, the list will get much, much bigger, and the learning will increase to maybe 50 things. They have said true AI, artificial intelligence, won't be ready for another 100 years. But they mean in-depth 
AI, on par with a human baby, which is scary, but it's not even needed to fool most humans. You can have a greeting robot at your store carry on a 30-minute conversation with you right now. Is he truly smart? No. He just has a very big list of, if this happens, do this. Do we have AI today? Not really. Do we have a very big list of stuff that they can just program right into the robot? If this happens, do this? Yes. Thank you for watching. Thank you for really responding to everything on the channel. It's been tremendous. Uh, we're battling against the robot on YouTube, ironically, which they believe has AI, and it doesn't. It just doesn't. But they really are trying. They really are testing and trying. They're trying. And they think the robot gets things right, and it does not. So, here are the parameters. If you're subscribed to me, go ahead and like. Push to click the like button. Also, if you're subscribed to me, leave a comment. Anything. I don't make these things and research for hours in uh, almost a day. T today I almost passed out. For you all to just go, uh, I don't even get that. I'm, I'm telling you stuff. It's all true. All should be amazing, sometimes scary. And you all just go, uh, whatever. Half of you don't even watch the video. Leave a comment, like the video. And click the notification bell. If you don't click the notification bell, you don't want to be notified, you don't want, to, you don't want that, just go ahead and unsubscribe. I won't be mad at you. I need actual fans. I don't need people that just sort of lurk around and just hang around. If they catch a video, they catch a video. That's why I don't have a million subscribers. Because the AI is trying to say, the the YouTube AI is trying to say, okay, let me get it out to the, oh, you don't really want to watch the video. Sorry about that. And you don't. You don't want to watch the videos. It's okay. Unsubscribe. But if you do want to watch the videos, click the notification bell. YouTube has already come out and said, if you don't click the notification bell, we're not going to send a video to you. If you're subscribed, we're only going to send it to about 50 people. And I'm saying if you don't hit the notification bell, there's no reason for you to be subscribed to me at all. You'll still be able to watch the video. I keep telling you that over and over and over. You'll still be able to watch the video. If you've watched three of my videos, you'll be able to watch my videos all the time. Uh, my videos will not leave your feed. But if you only occasionally watch my videos and you're subscribed to me, the robot is going to assume you want to see the videos. And if you don't, it's going to assume that the video is bad. And then the channel will suffer because you don't actually want to see the video. Or you don't want to see the video right now. The robot wants to give you the video right now. If you're not a right now person, unsubscribe. You'll be able to see the video eventually. But by unsubscribing and watching the video later on, you'll actually help the channel. Do you get it? Say yes, I get it if you get it. Thank you.